Karl Schwarzschild German, October 9, 1873 to May 11, 1916, was a German physicist and astronomer. He was also the father of astrophysicist Martin Schwarzschild. He provided the first exact solution to the Einstein field equations of general relativity, for the limited case of a single spherical non-rotating mass, which he accomplished in 1915, the same year that Einstein first introduced general relativity. The Schwarzschild solution, which makes use of Schwarzschild coordinates and the Schwarzschild metric, leads to a derivation of the Schwarzschild radius, which is the size of the event horizon of a non-rotating black hole. Schwarzschild accomplished this while serving in the German army during World War I. He died the following year from the autoimmune disease Pemphigus, which he developed while at the Russian front. Various forms of the disease particularly affect people of Ashkenazi Jewish origin. Asteroid 837 Schwarzschilde is named in his honor, as is the large crater Schwarzschild, on the far side of the Moon. Life Schwarzschild was born in Frankfurt am Main to Jewish parents. His father was active in the business community of the city, and the family had ancestors in the city dating back to the 16th century. Karl attended a Jewish primary school until 11 years of age. He was something of a child prodigy, having two papers on binary orbits celestial mechanics published before he was 16. He studied at Straburg and Munich, obtaining his doctorate in 1896 for a work on Henri Poincaré's theories. From 1897, he worked as assistant at the Kufner Observatory in Vienna. From 1901 until 1909 he was a professor at the prestigious institute at Göttingen, where he had the opportunity to work with some significant figures, including David Hilbert and Hermann Minkowski. Schwarzschild became the director of the observatory in Göttingen. He married Else Rosenbach, the daughter of a professor of surgery at Göttingen, in 1909, and later that year moved to Potsdam, where he took up the post of director of the Astrophysical Observatory. This was then the most prestigious post available for an astronomer in Germany. He and Else had three children, Agatha, Martin who went on to become a professor of astronomy at Princeton University, and Alfred. From 1912, Schwarzschild was a member of the Prussian Academy of Sciences. At the outbreak of World War I in 1914 he joined the German army, despite being over 40 years old. He served on both the Western and Eastern fronts, rising to the rank of lieutenant in the artillery. While serving on the front in Russia in 1915, he began to suffer from a rare and painful autoimmune skin disease called pemphigus. Nevertheless, he managed to write three outstanding papers, two on the theory of relativity and one on quantum theory. His papers on relativity produced the first exact solutions to the Einstein field equations, and a minor modification of these results gives the well-known solution that now bears his name—the Schwarzschild metric. Schwarzschild's struggle with Pemphigus may have eventually led to his death on May 11, 1916. Topic. Work Thousands of dissertations, articles, and books have since been devoted to the study of Schwarzschild's solutions to the Einstein field equations. However, although Schwarzschild's best-known work lies in the area of general relativity, his research interests were extremely broad, including work in celestial mechanics, observational stellar photometry, quantum mechanics, instrumental astronomy, stellar structure, stellar statistics, Halley's Comet, and spectroscopy. Some of his particular achievements include measurements of variable stars, using photography, and the improvement of optical systems, through the perturbative investigation of geometrical aberrations. Topic. Physics of photography While at Vienna in 1897, Schwarzschild developed a formula, now known as the Schwarzschild law, to calculate the optical density of photographic material. It involved an exponent now known as the Schwarzschild exponent, which is the p display style p in the formula i equals f i t p display style i equals f i c d o t t caret p, where i display style i is optical density of exposed photographic emulsion, a function of I 
the intensity of the source being observed, and t display style t the exposure time with p display style p a constant this formula was important for enabling more accurate photographic measurements of the intensities of faint astronomical sources topic electrodynamics According to Wolfgang Pauli, theory of relativity, Schwarzschild is the first to introduce the correct Lagrangian formalism of the electromagnetic field as S equals one two H two minus E two D V plus rho phi minus U D V display style s equals one half int h caret two e caret two d v plus int rho phi vec a vec u d v where e h display style vec e vec h are the electric and magnetic field a display style vec a is the vector potential and phi display style phi is the electric potential he also introduced a field free variational formulation of electrodynamics also known as action at distance or direct interparticle action based only on the world line of particles as s equals i m i c I D S I plus one two I J C I C J Q I Q J Delta P I P J D S I D S J Display style S equals sum underscore I M underscore I int underscore C underscore I D S underscore I plus F R A C one two sum underscore I J I I N T underscore C underscore I C underscore J Q underscore I Q underscore J delta left left vert P underscore I P underscore J right vert right D Math B F S underscore I D Math B F S underscore J where C alpha display style C underscore alpha are the world lines of the particle D S alpha display style D math BF s underscore alpha the vectorial arc element along the world line two points on two world lines contribute to the Lagrangian are coupled only if they are a zero Minkowski in distance connected by a light ray hence the term Delta P I P J display style delta left left vert P underscore I P underscore J right vert right. The idea was further developed by Tetrode and Fokker in the 1920s and Wheeler and Feynman in the 1940s and constitutes an alternative equivalent formulation of electrodynamics. Topic relativity. Einstein himself was pleasantly surprised to learn that the field equations admitted exact solutions, because of their prima facie complexity, and because he himself had only produced an approximate solution. Einstein's approximate solution was given in his famous 1915 article on the advance of the perihelion of Mercury. There, Einstein used rectangular coordinates to approximate the gravitational field around a spherically symmetric, non-rotating, non-charged mass. Schwarzschild, in contrast, chose a more elegant, polar-like, coordinate system and was able to produce an exact solution which he first set down in a letter to Einstein of the 22nd of December 1915, written while Schwarzschild was serving in the war stationed on the Russian front. Schwarzschild concluded the letter by writing, 
as you see, the war treated me kindly enough, in spite of the heavy gunfire, to allow me to get away from it all and take this walk in the land of your ideas." In 1916, Einstein wrote to Schwarzschild on this result, I have read your paper with the utmost interest. I had not expected that one could formulate the exact solution of the problem in such a simple way. I liked very much your mathematical treatment of the subject. Next Thursday I shall present the work to the Academy with a few words of explanation. Schwarzschild's second paper, which gives what is now known as the Inner Schwarzschild Solution, in German, Inner Schwarzschild Losung, is valid within a sphere of homogeneous and isotropic distributed molecules within a shell of radius r equals r. It is applicable to solids, incompressible fluids, the sun and stars viewed as a quasi-isotropic heated gas, and any homogeneous and isotropic distributed gas. Schwarzschild's first spherically symmetric solution does not contain a coordinate singularity on a surface that is now named after him. In Schwarzschild coordinates, this singularity lies on the sphere of points at a particular radius, called the Schwarzschild radius. R S equals 2 G M C 2 display style R underscore S equals frac 2 G M C caret 2 where G is the gravitational constant, M is the mass of the central body, and C is the speed of light in a vacuum. In cases where the radius of the central body is less than the Schwarzschild radius, R S display style R underscore S represents the radius within which all massive bodies, and even photons, must inevitably fall into the central body ignoring quantum tunneling effects near the boundary. When the mass density of this central body exceeds a particular limit, it triggers a gravitational collapse which, if it occurs with spherical symmetry, produces what is known as a Schwarzschild black hole. This occurs, for example, when the mass of a neutron star exceeds the tallman oppenheimer volkoff limit about three solar masses. Topic. Cultural references Karl Schwarzschild appears as a character in the science fiction short story, Schwarzschild Radius, 1987, by Connie Willis. Topic. Works Relativity über das Gravitationsfeld eines Massenpunktes nach der Einsteinschen Theorie. Reimer, Berlin 1916, S 189 ff. Sitzungsbericht der Königlich Prussischen Akademie der Wissenschaften, 1916. Über das Gravitationsfeld einer Kugel aus inkompressibler Flüssigkeit. Reimer, Berlin 1916, S 424 434. Sitzungsbericht der Königlich Prussischen Akademie der Wissenschaften, 1916. Other papers under such ungen zur geometrischen Optik i Einleitung in die Fellertheorie optischer Instrumente auf Grund des Iconalbegriffs, 1906. Abhandlungen der Gesellschaft der Wissenschaften in Göttingen, Band 4 Nr. 1, South 1 31. Untersuchungen zur geometrischen Optik 2. Theorie der Spiegelteleskop, 1906, Abhandlungen der Gesellschaft der Wissenschaften in Göttingen, Band 4 Nr. 2, South 1-28. Untersuchungen zur geometrischen Optik 3, über die astrophotographischen Objektive, 1906, Abhandlungen der Gesellschaft der Wissenschaften in Göttingen, Band 4 Nr. 3, South 1-54. Über Differenz Formeln zur der Churchnung Optischer Systeme, 1907, Nekricken von der Gesellschaft der Wissenschaften zu Göttingen, S551-570 Actinometry der Stern der BD bis zur Gro 7.5 in der Zone 0 degrees bis plus 20 degrees declination. Thiel A unter Mitwerking von Br. Meyermann, A. Kohlschutter und O. Burke, 1910, Abhandlungen der Gesellschaft der Wissenschaften in Göttingen, Band 6 Numero 6, South 1 117. Über das Gleichgewicht der Sonnenatmosphäre, 1906, Nekricken von der Gesellschaft der Wissenschaften zu Göttingen, S. 41 53. Die Bugging und Polarisation des Lichts der Chinen Spalt. I, 1902, Mathematisch Annalen, Band 55, S 177-247 Zur Elektrodynamik. 
I. Zwe Formen des Principes der Action in der Elektronentheorie, 1903, Ne Kricken von der Gesellschaft der Wissenschaften zu Göttingen, S. 126-131 Zur Elektrodynamik. 2. Die Elementare Elektrodynamische Kraft, 1903, Ne Kricken von der Gesellschaft der Wissenschaften zu Göttingen, S. 132-141 Zur Elektrodynamik. 3. Über die Bewegung des Elektrons, 1903, Ne Kricken von der Gesellschaft der Wissenschaften zu Göttingen, S. 245-278 Über die Eigenbewegungen der Fixtern, 1907, Ne Kricken von der Gesellschaft der Wissenschaften zu Göttingen, S. 614-632 Über die Bestimmung von Vertex und Apex nach der Ellipsoidhypothese aus einer Geringeren Anzahl Beobachteter Eigenbewegungen, 1908, Nekricken von der Gesellschaft der Wissenschaften zu Göttingen, S. 191-200 K. Schwarzschild, E. Kron, Über die Heliekeverteilung im Schweif des Halichen Kometen, 1911, Nekricken von der Gesellschaft der Wissenschaften zu Göttingen, S. 197-208 Die Naturwissenschaftlichen Ergebnis und Ziel der Neueren Mechanik, 1904, Jahresbericht der Deutschen Mathematiker Vereinigung, Band 13, S. 145-156 Über die Astronomische Ausbildung der Lehramatskandidaten, 1907, Jahresbericht der Deutschen Mathematiker Vereinigung, Band 16, S. 519-522 English translations in the gravitational field of a point mass, according to Einstein's theory, the Abraham Zelmanov Journal, 2008, Volume 1, p. 10-19 On the gravitational field of a sphere of incompressible liquid, according to Einstein's theory, the Abraham Zelmanov Journal, 2008, Volume 1, p. 20-32 on the permissible numerical value of the curvature of space, the Abraham Zelmanov Journal, Volume 1, 2008, pp. 64-73. References External links O'Connor, John J., Robertson, Edmund F. Carl Schwartzschild. MacTutor History of Mathematics Archive, University of St. Andrews. Roberto B. Salgado The Light Cone, The Schwarzschild Black Hole Obituary in the Astrophysical Journal, written by Edgner Hertzsprung Carl Schwarzschild at the Mathematics Genealogy Project Biography of Carl Schwarzschild by Indranu Suhendro, The Abraham Zelmanov Journal, 2008, Volume 1